beauty and deen. Mm -hmm. Dean translated as the way of life or religion. Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If he or she's not very good looking, mm -hmm. then you won't want to be with her or him. But if she's not on the dean, yes. same situation. I agree. Actually, the first thing, <coughs> the first thing which comes to beauty, we need to realize that the beauty is a relative issue. Mm -hmm. It's in, in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. Uh, the twenty-first century culture has made the, uh, many people assume love of a specific standard. Mm -hmm. So you watch TV, you read magazines, you get you know, to go to the street and so on. People are obsessed by a specific image. They made it a standard of beauty. And that standard of beauty is not even reality. Why? Because it's just, you know, it's, it's a creation in our minds, the, the imagination of our, you know, our own minds. And it, it does exist in terms of you know, the image being available, but it's not for everybody. Yeah. I mean, if everyone is going to wait for that Mr. and Mrs. Perfect uh, to be there, you're going to be waiting for so long. Yeah. And even if you do that, you have seen so many people, what they do, they try, let's say, to start uh, a conversation with someone whom they assume to be handsome, a woman who's, who's, who's beautiful. But then after some time, they get disappointed. Even though she's beautiful, even though he's handsome, but unfortunately, in terms of intellectuality, they're not mature. In terms of spirituality, they're not showing that kind of dedication, devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to their Lord, and so on. So they get turned off. So it's no longer just a matter of beauty. Again, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some people, they look into the spiritual beauty, which is the deen thing. Yeah. So when people, they look into the deen, means the practice of the deen and, and, and religion. Uh, for them, it's a sign of devotion. If yeah. they can devote themselves to their creator, mm -hmm. they can devote them, themselves to the creation to their husband, their wives in this case. Yes. And even the Prophet ﷺ recommended that to us. He says, إِذَا جَاءَكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَخُلُقَهُ فَزَوُّجُهُ Which means if someone comes to you, someone comes to you with a proposal, and you're satisfied with their deen and akhlaq, which means their religion, their faith, the level of worship, and akhlaq, which means mannerism. So two things are, uh, uh, would guarantee a level of, I would say, happiness and stability in their marriage. With other dynamics, of course, the marriage would help too as well. But here, this is now to initiate that. The first thing is deen. When we say deen, we mean by that the practice of their faith. That is, that, that's an, an indicator mm -hmm. to the, uh, the sound relationship with the Creator. Then you have al-akhlaq, which means mannerism. That's the indicator to their relationship with the creation. Mm -hmm. So you need to look at two things. How is their relationship with their Lord? Mm -hmm. And what's the relationship with His creation? It means the people around them. Mm -hmm. Do they behave well? Mm -hmm. How people they know, how, what they know about them? Is, is they, do they have a good reputation, a good, let's say, character and so on? So it's a matter of basically their relationship with their Lord and their character with the people. That's what defines to you the basics. Yeah. And then people, they have other preferences afterwards, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, the issue of the level of beauty, the level of intelligence, the level of, let's say, lifestyle and so on. That is something optional. People, they, they adjust their priorities depending on their own, you know, taste. 